And, and Pradeep, your story is really interesting. 2020 was a very odd year, particularly to arrange any type of uh, competition or teamwork or uh, given all the restrictions. So tell me a little bit about your experience of uh, kind of gathering the interest, how the students got involved. And, uh, and we do have some videos, obviously, of the yes. students that, uh, that won and particularly won the reaction of one of, one of the participants. <laughs> and uh, for Silver Award, the project goes to uh, Ritika and Pradeem for Project <laughs> Funday uh, Care. Fantastic. <laughs> so, was, so those things are, are truly priceless. But tell right. me a little bit about, um, in a way, gathering the interest uh, the, 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 given, given, given COVID restrictions and all the challenges that you and the students had to overcome to be part of this, I would like to call it a dialogue more so than a competition. And so yeah. how was that? Uh, actually, the biggest challenge was uh, the moment, you know, on March 23rd, the COVID was, you know, the COVID rule started. So almost the learning, it became a pause. Uh, so there was a complete, uh, the students were all totally restricted and uh, the transformation from offline classes to online classes, it, it had not happened in India in most of the institutions. So technically they were not geared up. So it's like uh, students has a free time, but they were restricted to the homes and uh, not all the institutions could able to understand this. And uh, so there was a lot of uh, initial problems we had in actually how to reach, uh, how to make that education accessible to a student who is sitting in the home was a big challenge. Uh, technically, if you talk, you know, the government schools, which are working in the Mufsil areas, more than 60% of the villages still, there is no reach of... Uh, internet that they don't have a tabs or they don't have a laptops so it's like it was a quite big challenge to be honest uh, 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 the things caught actually the motivation what we got is your event only actually once after we receiving your event then we said okay why can't we try again you know they are giving an opportunity of remote uh, participation and the way I am offering AI is I tell them that you go to whichever the school you want to study, but learn AI two to three classes in a week, that too in the evening sessions or in a holidays. Mm -hmm. So I made small batches and I started teaching them. And uh, uh, in fact, we got a clarity how to teach AI. That is the biggest advantage what we had from the ready AI. So initially, it's like we had a content ready available on your website which can be delivered to a student uh, with much more simplicity to bring up a good point so one is one point is simplicity um one of the things i've noticed with your uh, the, uh, the 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 students that attended uh, participated uh, from your side and also from india i've also noticed two things one is number of girls participants you were able to obviously have many girls participate which is one of the big problems we have in general in computer science, in STEM, in STEAM, but unfortunately, we uh, somehow as educators, we don't do a good job. And I'm not generalizing, but I'm just stating the, the outcome that we don't get enough girls involved uh, in, in, in AI education or frankly, in AI conversation. So yes. how were you able to attract more girls to come and attend? Uh, the place where I'm uh, staying here, I have an access to around four to 500 families. And uh, being myself into academics and uh, conducted various events for the children during the summer holidays. And I've encouraged students uh, of our colony and nearby areas to get exposed to the research centers, visit the institutions, and we have done some, uh, some of the retired professors also. Together, we have done some educational uh, initiative trainings. So that had helped me in having some database. And uh, parents and the students, they know, we, we have done everything on a charity basis. So every summer, we used to expose them, you know, some chemical experiments with the help of Royal Society of Chemistry London. And we took them to the different uh, national institutions to have an exposure and a lot of other things also I used to uh, folk, I used to suggest parents that not only academic stress, you just put them into various other things. So that sort of like-minded parents I could able to generate over the period of six, seven years. 
so if you see some of our students especially you know some of our girls they have 80 to 90 certifications in 15 plus domains the awards and certifications and now they are adding you know one more domain artificial intelligence and they back a uh, couple of your participation certificates some got you know awards from the yc the winners and some got you know some courses ai plus me like that so it is a motivation for the children and the parents also started uh, you know uh, trusting and uh, they have understood the news articles what was coming on ai and luckily some schools they tried but they don't have a expert uh, faculty the labs as well as the content so some of the corporates the leading corporates in india like uh, intel along with the association of some school board like uh, cbse central board school education they have developed a content uh, they've released it but it it again it became more like an academic but the way what yeah. we had an advantage uh, especially from ready ai is uh, the good thing from your model is that uh, uh, it was very clear that whatever you learn you map that with some issue in the uh, society and make a project and make a video of it then submit so that was very interesting thing you know which actually put us on the right path so more than theory theoretical classes or more than it you know an academic session it became very interesting to the children and all the girl children when they got this opportunity they came forward and started doing wonderful you know miniature models and uh, your yc site also had previous uh, events videos so all that helped them actually how to do do that model you know what sort of a planning they need to do and there were some interviews of the students also then they got an overview and your support was also high and with this we started with initially in the 2019 with a very few little kids then later i have seen they have now understood the flavor of uh, you know uh, a good ivy league university curriculum how it will be the studies the career path they got in you know uh, once they have access to you and the professors of carnegie mellon and after going through their site and uh, you know you were at, you were one of your boot camp uh, talk was it was very highly absorbed by the students and they started dreaming of that on especially on the inputs what you have given is the how to build the profile and how that holistic personality is considered so all these things entered into their mind you know they have accepted you know they have started enjoying the different counseling the practical counseling which we had that day. i think more than 2 hours you have spoke to them so they got a clarity and uh, then that uh, team and the parents also attended that event then they said that yes let's follow this uh, let's encourage our students and luckily now the mindset is on the right direction how to understand the ai how to understand you know uh, the ethics of it what role they need to play how proactive they need to be what are the challenges and uh, you know that made them now they understand their learning has a purpose that is a very you know a good uh, motivational factor of this ai classes and when the students started uh, you know learning that the biggest uh, sub, uh, you know encouraging thing was the event which is coupled with that the yc right. so that had made them oh, okay now okay someone is assessing us someone is assessing our knowledge if they value if they give some score that means we are on a uh, right learning path and the professors also who were you know interviewing them and uh, you know they were talking to them they were very kind enough uh, uh, you know they actually uh, they got very well gel with the uh, understandings of the student they they were very friendly uh, they were very encouraging and uh, uh, so that they made that okay you know a professor a hod of a carnegie mellon talking to them and you know asking questions and playing jokes and so many things you know and at the end they are rewarding and saying some good words made the parents as well as the students to believe that yes they are on the right path that's a very really important point you bring up Pradeep. In fact, you know, combining first of all riding on the kids enthusiasm. I think that's really important. You're very kind to to give us a credit uh, give us a lot of credit, but the truth of the matter is the credit goes to the organizer parents. It it takes the entire ecosystem to make something like this happen. But I think you're right. This aspect of project lear project based learning, you know, but also being able to more important being able to connect a project to something in reality that the kids are seeing. Yes. In a way, 
kids, uh, the students think of themselves as problem solvers, but they're using uh, hopefully artificial intelligence to solve some of the problems they're, they're seeing in their communities. Now, let me also pinpoint in a little bit of time that we have left on the, uh, what you perceive to be the challenges as we are living in the world with the pandemic, with the lockdown, with all these things around. What is your message to participants, um, particularly, let's say, from India and also institutions to be involved? Because as we know, uh, AI is not part of the core standard, although there is a national strategy by the Indian government, like many countries. But right yes. now, there is a big gap between application and policy. Policy is yeah, yeah. there, but do we really practice it in schools? What's your message to, to teachers, to administrators, to parents, if they think they would like to get their kids involved in AI, and also they want their kids to be involved is in this broader AI conversation, particularly as, uh, as uh, we're uh, still in very uncharted territory and we're also living in uncertain times. True. Uh, first thing is that, you know, uh, the policy makers might have understood the technology, the need of the technology and all. But at the academic school level system, still teachers are not that much tech savvy, neither they have that sort of an exposure. They were very much confined to the prescribed syllabus content. So this AI is something, it is a absolutely skill-based learning. And skill-based learning, that also you should map with the real issues. So this sort of a change of a mindset for a teacher to have is either it should be driven by the policy or it should be driven by the motivation. So here, if you want to bring that change uh, with the help of a motivation, then definitely they need uh, some sort of a sessions by experts like you and your team, you know, uh, uh, some sort of a sessions which you should take to the teacher especially, because once the teacher learns, uh, the nation leads. So we, uh, uh, they need to understand that, okay, this is not that complicated technology. It is very easy to understand. We have some course content. You can make that, uh, you can, you know, learn online and take a certification. We also mentor you. We also share some of our uh, classroom sessions. With that, if you, you know, some, someone if can already, you have that model. If that gets reached to the teachers, they are, you know, ready and willing to take this and, you know, transfer that to the students. That is what it is very much needed. India, actually, it could not be able to provide a skilled or a trained teachers to handle the subject. This was actually the real problem. How do we solve this, in your opinion, in 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds. I suggest, actually, we need to have more of a teacher training programs. I see. I totally agree. Well, that was a three second, but that's a monumental answer. I agree with you. A lot of teachers need to be trained and it's easy, it's accessible. And teachers, although we're talking about technology, but at the core of it is human. And at, at that core are the teachers. I know there are, unfortunately, teachers around the world are the most, in my opinion, one of the most underappreciated and underpaid uh, group of individuals. However, the, the, the role that they play in, 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 in our future in terms of education, even the new education ecosystem is immensely important. Pradeep, I want to thank you um, and uh, all the videos of uh, teams that have participated because of you. Even the winners of AC 2020 are underneath this video. You can subscribe, you can take a look at it. You can join us on WACI, WACI 2021. And I am so happy to see you committed to uh, AI education for children. And I want to thank you for that.